In this video, we will perform an experiment in star cell bio that uses the microscopy experimental technique. We will show you how to set up, run, and view samples in the microscopy experimental technique. Microscopy is used to study the quantity, morphology, and properties of cells, tissues, or organisms that otherwise could not be observed by eye. This video tutorial will feature a different assignment from the one used in previous video tutorials. Microscopy is one of the available experimental techniques within this assignment. In the experiment setup, we deleted two tumor suppressor genes from a strain by treating the samples with a virus expressing an enzyme, Cre recombinase, and then we waited for different lengths of time to analyze cancer progression by microscopy. Now that the samples have been generated, we can select the microscopy experimental technique on the Select Technique page. Many aspects of the microscopy experimental technique page should look familiar to you. In particular, the microscopy experimental techniques are organized into tabs, and the progress bar displays your progress through the three steps of performing a microscopy experimental technique. On the first page of the microscopy technique, a list of the samples generated earlier on the experiment setup page is displayed. Select the samples that you would like to prepare for microscopy analysis. In this assignment, there are three available types of microscopy analysis, including a dye or stain, and two types of antibody labeling, immunofluorescence, which is abbreviated IF, and immunohistochemistry, which is abbreviated IHC. Once a particular type of analysis is selected, any conditions, if relevant, will appear in the conditions column. In this case, select the proteins to label for IHC. Depending on your particular assignment, you may be able to select additional conditions for the microscopy analysis. As the microscopy experimental technique draws upon real microscopy images, not all types of analyses will be available for each sample. Once you have selected all of the components for your microscopy analysis, Click Prepare Slides. The Samples window contains a list of all of your samples that were prepared for microscopy. To load the samples on the microscope, click Load. The microscope will automatically display the first sample in the Samples menu. In this case, we are looking at a sample that has been stained with hematoxylin and eosin, or H and E, one of the most frequently used stains for medical diagnoses. The small tabbed window displays the image of the sample as seen through the microscope's eyepiece, as well as several microscope controls, including the lights on-off and dimmer switches, the laser on-off switch, laser filters, both coarse and fine focus, the microscope's objective, and navigation arrows to move around the sample. Let's manipulate the microscope controls now. As the microscope models what a real image would look like on the microscope after being loaded, the image may appear blurry. Manipulate the coarse and fine focus controls to focus the image. This is a non-fluorescent sample that is best viewed on a bright field microscope with the light on. I would like to increase the brightness of the image a little bit. Then to explore the rest of the sample, I'll click the navigation arrows to move the viewfinder around the sample. Once you have manipulated the microscope controls and have obtained the desired image, the microscope settings for this image will be automatically saved for you when you navigate away from this image. Now let's look at a sample that we have labeled with a fluorescently tagged secondary antibody. Some samples may have more than one type of microscopy analysis for them. In this case, each microscopy analysis will appear as a tab within the small tabbed window. Let's select the IF-RGB tab now. To visualize this immunofluorescence sample, turn off the light and turn on the laser. Since this image appears blurry, use the coarse and fine focus controls to focus the image. This sample has been labeled in all three channels supported by this microscope, red, green, and blue. A protein called nuclear factor 1B is labeled in red, a control protein is in green, and DNA is stained in blue. To visualize each individual color of the image, select each individual filter. 
or to view all of the colors at the same time, click A. Not all of the microscope controls will need to be manipulated for each image. For example, the H&E image that we viewed previously did not require the laser or the filters to view the image. In addition, not every immunofluorescence image will have something labeled in each color supported by the microscope. As a result, changing the filter may not be an option for that sample. To visualize another sample on the microscope, select the sample name in the samples window. Now you're ready to perform your own microscopy analyses.